Hey everyone, my name is Visibility, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this kind of sci-fi alien relic kind of scene that looks pretty cool in cycles. So, let's get started. So, I created the scene yesterday, and uh, I had an issue uh, with the kind of emission shaders. And I'll teach you guys how to fix that once we create it, but for now, uh, we're going to go ahead and start. So, we're going to delete our default cube. <coughs> and we're going to add a cylinder. Now, don't click off the cylinder because we need this little kind of thing right here. I'm also going to full screen blender. So, uh, give it about six vertices to where it looks like this. Make it look like a hexagon, basically. And so, now that we have this, uh, we have this base shape. And so I'm going to shrink it down a little bit, and I'm going to just scale it up like this. So now we kind of add this kind of thing going on right here. <coughs> so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, make the kind of like rounded effect on the top by tabbing in edit mode by pressing tab. I'm going to go to face select, click on this, and going over here to this bevel, and then I can just click and hold up until it goes something like that and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select this face and basically do the exact same thing wait actually no 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 before, before I do that I'm gonna inset it by going over here to this inset face tool right here and then just dragging it and then oops and then I'm going to bevel it actually no 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 I'm gonna extrude it and then bevel it. So now we have this, which kind of looks cool. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select this face, this face, and this face. And it doesn't matter which face you delete, it just select three faces uh, to make it a little different view. And just press delete or uh, X and just click faces. So now we have this, uh, which looks pretty cool. And I'm going to add a solidify modifier to it by going over here to our modifiers tab, adding a modifier, and going to solidify. Then I'm going to add just some thickness to it to make it just not look completely flat. So now we have this. So <coughs> what I want to do with this is I want to have this kind of glass on it with uh, these floating glowing triangles in it. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm not going to use a glass shader. And the reason I'm not using a, I'm not going to use a glass shader is because we're going to be using volumes and volumes itself take need a ton of samples for it to uh, look decent and uh, glass also needs a lot of samples. So I discovered, uh, well I didn't discover it, uh, it's actually the glass from Blender Guru's kitchen tutorial. And I found it works really good for situations like this. And the way we're going to make that is we're just going to shift A and we're going to add a, another cylinder. And we're going to scale it down. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to tab and delete this face. This face. And I'm just going to delete those faces. And... Yeah. And so I'm going to I'm just going to fit it into this uh cylinder just so we have like a, a, the size right. So I'm just going to scale it and move it around and just get the size right until it can fit in this cylinder. I want I want it to be as perfect as possible. So uh in the final render you can't really see any mistakes. So I think that looks good. Let me make sure yeah, that looks that looks pretty cool. So now we have this kind of uh, looks kind of like a pod. So now uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to drag it out a little bit, and I'm gonna split our window right here, and go over here and click on shader editor. <coughs> ah, excuse me. So I'm gonna click on new, and I'm gonna delete our principled, and I'm going to add a light path and I'm just gonna put this up here I'm going to add two math nodes so just type in math and then shift a and type in math again and what we're gonna to want to do is we're going to take this is a uh, shadow ray 
and put it in the first value then is diffuse ray and put it in the second value and then is oops is glossy ray put it in this value on the second add and then take this uh, value on the first add and just bring it over here so now we have that and then we're going to add a mix shader not a mix RGB a mix shader um, I'm just going to move these out of the way a little bit just so we have a little bit more room and I'm going to take the value on the second add and then I'm going to put it in the fact on the mix shader and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a Fresnel or Fresnel whatever it's called man and I'm going to set the IR to 40 I'm looking at reference because I don't know how to make this material at the top of my head. Uh, then I'm going to add a glossy. And then I'm going to add a transparent. And we're going to add, we're going to, I'm just going to shifty or uh, duplicate this mix shader. You can also just add another one if you want. And the fac on the Fresnel is going to go on the fac on this mix shader. And the BSDF on the glossy is going to go in the first shader. BSDF on uh, transparent is going to be in the second shader and then also we're going to drag it again into the second shader on this and then on this mix shader right here we're going to drag it into this and so once we put it into surface we should see now we have this kind of if it worked uh, might need to yeah um so right now i'm in ev uh you should be in cycles right now but uh i'm just in ev for preview reasons but if you are in ev just make sure this blend mode right here is on alpha blend and not opaque otherwise class and zero won't work and so now i'm actually going to switch over to cycles okay so now we're in cycles um and what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep this here and I'm going to add another cylinder, but uh, this time, instead of having six, I'm going to bring it all the way down to three. I'm just going to decrease the size by pressing S, and then I'm going to or oops, oops, okay, R X ninety, and then I'm basically just going to rotate it until it's like facing, kind of like this. And then I'm going to bring it. I'm gonna resize it. I'm just gonna resize it until we get here. Yeah, I'm gonna change this one a little real quick. And then just resize it. And I kinda want one big triangle along with some uh, mini triangles so the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to just going to shift D this triangle S and I'm going to hit R twice and it allows me to just rotate these and so I'm just going to keep resizing them oops actually 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 before, oops. before we do that to make it a lot easier on ourselves before we duplicate that we're actually going to add our emission shader by going down here into our materials and on uh, surface adding an emission and I want it to be this kind of deep red so I'm just gonna add that and then now we can shift D resize them and then just move them around just move them around you know just however many you want really it doesn't really matter just yeah that kind of looks good and now if we take our uh, little thingy our glass chamber and put it back in here where it was we should be able to see if I go on the render view yep now we have this kind of really cool looking uh, glow effect on it and so that's cool and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over here to this uh, little world icon. I'm going to change the color to black. So now it gives us a more accurate representation of what it really is going to be. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to zoom on this, click, click this, and I'm going to up the emission maybe 10. No, 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 not 10, not 10, not 10. Maybe 3, 1. 
Yeah, yeah probably just one. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the little legs on it. I'm actually going to scale this up a little bit. Yeah. Now I'm going to add the sort of legs on this kind of thing. So, the uh, way I'm going to do that is I'm going to actually, before I do that, uh, on this, make sure to shoot this face like this. And I'm just going to bevel it down like that. So now we have this thing, and it looks pretty cool. So now we have this. Yeah, actually, you know what? You know what? With this particular render, I'm not sure I want to go with the legs. I actually want it to just be this kind of pod. So, yeah. Um, only reason I said it, uh, I wanted legs on it before was because I had that in my original render. And so, okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put a material on this. Uh, and I'm going to add this metal material that I have my texture sorter uh, right here. And I'm pretty sure it's metal 6 or 16. Uh, no, it's not 16. Uh, which metal is it? It's metal 4 or metal 3? Okay, it's metal three. Metal three. Okay, so uh, I'll link all my textures that I use in the description. So if you want to download those or use your own textures, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to create a new material. And then we're going to Ctrl T and have this image texture thing coming up. I'm just going to put this over here a little bit. I'm just going to move these out of the way. And then I'm going to open the image texture. And I'm going to go down to our textures. Well, actually, I have metal three right here. But and I'm just going to put our textures in. And so now that's our color texture. So if we shift Z, can't really see it. You can kind of see it right here, but we kind of have this uh, texture right here, which looks pretty cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift D this, change it to non-color data, and we're going to want to do this for every other uh, texture we add. And I'm just going to uh, add our normal. And I usually just do the normal second because it kind of gives it, I don't know, a more. I, that's just what I do. I don't know. I'm going to connect colors together and connect the normals together. And drag these down, shift D this. Oops, not do that. Shift D this. Then I'm going to add rough or roughness. And then I'm going to put this color in the roughness. And I'm going to shift D this. And I'm going to change it to uh, met. And I'm going to plug this one into the metallic. So now if we look at this we kind of have uh, a more metallic kind of look. So if I had, yeah, you can see it in here especially. It's kind of reflecting now, and that kind of that looks really cool. So now we have our little pod here. Um, and what I'm going to do is now I'm going to add, I'm going to shift A, I'm going to add a plane. And I want to do this before, because in my original render, which is very different than this one now, um, I'm going to... Uh, what I did was I had the pods already uh, kind of crooked and like beaten up before I put the plane in and it kind of uh, with the displacement in the plane and stuff it kind of ruined the whole thing so I'm just going to scale this up not a ton but just kind of like that maybe maybe like that I don't want it to be super big but I want it to be good enough to where we can uh, have it you know there. So, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a texture that I made in Quixel Mixer, and I'll have this texture linked in the description on Google Drive if you guys want to download it. But it's basically just a. Uh, I have it labeled as parking lot because that was originally what I was naming it, but it's just like the, a ground material. So I'm just going to use it. I'm just going to diffuse, and then I'm going to do the same things that we did with the. Uh, other thing, I'm going to change this to non-color data, check A, normal, normal map, and then color into color, and normal into normal, I'm going to do the same things, and I'll cut ahead to 
when I've done it. Okay, so I've applied the material to the uh, plane, and a few special cases I want to go over right here is on this gloss. We can see there's no gloss over here on our printer board, but there's a roughness, and roughness and gloss are basically the same things except for the whites and blacks are switched. So what we're going to do there is just add an invert node and just shift A and type in invert and you'll see it and just basically put that in the middle of these and it'll fix it. And then um, there's a few more uh, texture nodes that we needed and that's a specular and an AO. Specular just goes into specular and then AO goes into anastropic right here and that's basically it. But now if we uh, go into render, we can see we have uh, our texture but there's no real like life to the texture and when we want to fix that. What we're going to do that is displacement. Now, displacement can be scary. No, I'm not going to lie. Displacement can be scary. But if you do it right, it's not. So here's how we're going to make displacement. Displacement is basically taking the mesh and displacing it uh, with a texture and with whites and blacks. And it basically literally uh, bumps the mesh. So instead of having a normal map, which is simulate, or a normal map or a bump map, which is simulate bump, it literally changes the mesh. So what we're going to do is we're first going to add a subdivision surface. And when add a subdivision surface, then I'm going to change the, I'm going to take optimal display and I'm going to change the view to six and the render to six. I'm going to click apply and then I'm going to tab N and mean crease. Oops. No, 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 no. Nope. Okay. Before we click apply. I forgot this. Uh, if you did already click apply, just hit Control Z a few times and it'll come back. Uh, tab in edit mode, and you should see there's a square there. And hit N to bring up this menu and turn the increase all the way up so it's still a square. And then you can click apply. Oops, tab add edit mode, and then you can click apply. And which is what I'm going to do again is I'm going to subdivide it one more time by adding another subdivision surface. And I'm going to keep the render at 2 and a view at 1, but this time we're not going to apply it because we might need to change it in a little bit. Uh, that's always my rule is I don't apply the second subdivision because I don't know if I'm going to uh, change it or not. And we're going to add another modifier called uh, Displace. And you can see it moves our uh, mesh down. And if we click New, it'll move for mesh up. And then if we click this little button right here, uh, it says Show Texture and Texture tab. And it'll open. And we go into that, uh, uh, that, uh, or my texture. We can see I have this displacement texture, okay? And if we open it, we can see it's extremely bumpy, like extremely bumpy. So the way we fix that is go into our modifiers and turn our strength down to maybe 0 0.1. Yeah, I'd say 0 0.1 is maybe 0 0.05 might be good. And we can see now it literally, uh, displaced our mesh so yeah we can see it literally displaced our mesh uh, so that's pretty cool uh, what displacement does is the way it works is if we go into our uh, show texture and texture tab we can see we have these uh, huge like these white and blacks kind of looks like a moon surface Whites basically tell the computer, uh, hey, this part is supposed to be bumpy. So, like, uh, anything that's white is, like, it's raised. So, like, all this right here. Anything that's black is going to be, uh, like, lower down. And just regular gray is kind of your even point where it's, like, this is supposed to be kind of flat. And so, yeah. Um... Also, I'm going to change my subdivision surface if I view it on three. Then my render view. Yeah, that looks good. So uh, now we have this kind of uh, cool looking terrain. Uh, if your computer can't handle this, then just turn the view down. And uh, if your computer does crash during the render, then just turn the render down. Uh, now would be actually a good time to save, so I'm just going to uh, type three. I'm just going to save it. And so now we have this cool looking uh, terrain, which looks cool. So I'm going to drag this back a little bit because I want these pods to be kind of like everywhere. And 
when we do that I'm actually going to change this I'm going to uh, select this actual capsule and then shift and select this uh, uh, this whole uh, this glass and if I do this right control J yep control J moves it into one mesh uh, so just have both highlighted and control J and that changes it into one mesh and if we shift D we should be able to see that we can now uh, move these and so I'm just gonna uh, I want the camera view to be kind of right here ish so I want the camera view to be kind of right here so I'm gonna control all zero and that's a pretty good camera angle but I'm just gonna change the perspective a little bit so now we have this and I'm just gonna basically have these kind of just in the background like this just have these in the background kind of move them a little bit have these and then rotate this one maybe back a little bit make sure they're all in camera view I'm gonna move this one back a little bit and I shift D and then put this one here and then I'm gonna R. I want the glass to be visible, which it is. So now, if we shift do this now, we should be able to see that we have our capsules back here, which looks really cool. But we don't have any uh, of our uh, triangles in them. So the way I'm gonna fix that is I'm just gonna zoom in kind of right here. I'm actually gonna uh, kind of move these out of the way. And I'm gonna click this dot. Uh, I'm going to zoom in right here, select a few triangles by shift clicking them, actually I might select all the triangles, and then shift D, and now we have our triangle selected as a duplicate, and then we can just move them into these other capsules, and you don't really have to align them right because they will be uh, hidden by depth of field. Uh, which will like blur out the background pretty nicely and then I'm just gonna bring this down and actually for this one I'm actually going to rotate it just because it's so like off center that it'll be still noticeable and on this one I'm gonna shift D and then just bring this back and then right here and then I'm gonna this one right here and then right here so now if we zero we can see that now all of our pods have the kind of uh, triangle glow which is what we want and that looks really cool uh, actually I might change let me see really quick Yeah, just kind of give it a darker red. All right, so now we have our pods here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make sure there are no lights in our scene, which there is. And I'm going to delete this light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add area lights. And I'm going to shift A and a light area. And I'm going to change this to a kind of not like red red, but kind of like kind of like that. Bring it up have it kind of centered over these shift D shift D kind of had three lights right here so now if we make sure the lighting is correct and it is we can see now that our scene is lit and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, now what we're gonna do is we're going to add volume and what volume is this is basically fog it's the easiest way to put it it's fog uh so what we're gonna do that is we're just gonna uh uv sphere i use UV sphere just because that's what i like you can also use a cube or anything to make sure it covers the whole scene and then uh in our materials we're gonna click new and uh under white right here in principled we're gonna change it to principal volume and over here we're going to change volume into volume and not surface 
and uh, the density I'm gonna put at 0 0.02 and see if that works see if that kinda looks good and it does so looks good you can also make it a little bit more dense if you want yeah you can also make it a little bit more dense if you want uh, I'm actually going to to my camera I'm actually just going to change my focal length I'm actually going to change my focal length just kind of have it right here and then uh I'm gonna tilt this just a little bit. I don't want it to be like so like kind of neat. So I know it's a focus and all, but I don't want it to be so neat stuff. So if we render it, I'm going to render view right now. Oh, uh, we can see. Yeah, this this looks pretty cool. Um, and I'm actually going to uh, change the contrast under uh. Uh, this little camera icon render settings and the color management contrast put it on medium high contrast see if that does anything I'm actually going to move this light back a little bit so it doesn't have just as much glare on the top so I don't want it to be extremely glary on the top and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add depth of field. So just click on our camera up here. And down here on uh, our little camera, uh, go to viewport display, click limits. And then on depth of field, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to drag our distance up until it gets to the center point of our uh, capsule. And then uh, our blades, I'm going to turn up to 20. And then size, I'm gonna point point zero three. See how that looks, and we should see it'll be able to blur out the background, which it did. Now, if we like five it, you can see it blurs it out a ton, which you don't want. How about like point zero four maybe? Somewhere around that, 0 0.03, 0 0.04, I'm just gonna do 0 0.03. It kinda just looks better. And while I'm here, I'm going to just duplicate some of these capsules to just make them kind of there in the background, like they're not active. I'm just gonna do this and put this one in this kind of hole right here. Which is actually kind of perfect for it. I'm gonna put this one right here. Just put this kind of there. Make sure we can see it in camera, which we can. Render. Yeah, you can kind of see it back there. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it. I forgot to mention, guys. Uh, if you render and you see something like this happening, then it's probably because your samples aren't up then uh i recommend rendering at over 1000 samples uh uh maybe 1300 it'll uh it should be good if it's not uh then just uh you know up to samples if it's too much uh and it's way too clear well not way too clear but like if you see that it's too much then just you can either just keep the render or uh decrease the samples but uh, yeah, I just forgot to say that, so I just wanted to say that. So, thanks for watching. Uh, that's uh, the tutorial of how to make these little alien pods kind of thing going on. Uh, I think they look pretty cool. Uh, if you uh, make them, then you can post it on Imgur or something and uh, send me the link in the comments. So, uh, hopefully this helps you, teaches you a few things. Uh, if it does, make sure to leave it in the comments. I love hearing that you guys are using these tutorials and learning from them. Um, that's it, guys. Uh, my name is Visibility, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.